Grace and peace, everybody. Um, welcome to Brian TV. I want to talk about urban apologists versus Hebrew Israelites in light of some stuff that um, recently transpired. I'm not going to get into the whole thing, but I just want to, I just want to explain a few things. When we start, I often in Sunday seminary, I often teach people that for 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 Christians to understand certain things, I often equate people with different people so Christians can have a clear understanding. I tell everybody in Sunday seminary that um, when we start dealing with Sinetta and Sinetta Television, that's the Word Channel. Sinetta Television, Black News 101, Black News 102, that's the Word Channel, the TBN of the Conscious Community, the Trinity Broadcasting Network. And, and Sinetta is the um, Paul Crouch of it. When we start dealing with um, Christian television, that's how most people understand Christianity. So we may get aggravated, aggravated or upset at certain things when I hear people say things or we hear people say things and thinking the whole church is what they see on TV, like Creflo Dollar and um and Fred Price and all of those other people that you may see on one of those channels and people thinking that that represents the entire church. Well, it's the same way we can, we can, um, I can say when we're dealing with Hebrew Israelites. Now, me, I'm a little different because I, um, I, I, I speak to a lot of people. You know, I engage a lot of people. So if I'm talking, if I'm engaging in somebody that's um, part of Freemasonry, um, they'll appreciate the fact that I understand Scottish Rite is different from York Rite. Oh, these guys, they just operate in some clandestine lodge because they're dealing with the comedic sciences. And I understand the differences. It's important to understand the differences. But for the most part, just like other people would look at a, a Christian show and think every pastor's like Creflo Dollar and Noel Jones and all of that stuff, the same way some Christians may look at sign of TV and think every Hebrew Israelite camp is the same. Now, um, there are differences. Like every church is not is not the same. Every denomination is not the same. There may be small differences, but they basically un, um, believe a lot of the same stuff. And I wanted to bring that out. That's important. I think um, that is strange. Like I listen to I listen to Hebrew. I listen to Hebrew pastor something recently came up with one of my um with with with, with, with a christian apologist i call him my partner somebody that's you know if you're a christian apologist you damn you know we, we, we're in the same struggle and he was talking about black or oh, i'm talking about christian israelites he was talking about christian israelites there are a large percentage of christians that that follow that believe that they descended from from the original israelites not 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 a whole bunch, but there's a good amount. And um, I listen to some of them. Pastor Stephen Darby. I don't know him personally, but I listen to him. I listen to I listen. And, and there's another brother. Um, Hebrew Nuggets. Hebrew Nuggets. I'm not sure. I think he's in Louisiana. And these are they're, they're, they're Christian congregations. These are believers, but they just believe and teach that they descended from Israelites and. And, and somebody was recently, you know, somebody recently brought that up and wanting to know the difference. Let's just put it that way, wanting to know the difference. So I said, let me make a video to clear it up. The majority, a large portion, I'm not going to say the majority, but a large portion of Hebrew Israelites that we see, we see them on sign of the TV. When YouTube came out, Hebrew Israelites were among the first to take YouTube and use it as a platform. They didn't have as many buildings as we have in the quote unquote church and properties and places that they can get together and lecture besides homes they stay really used youtube as a platform from the beginning so it's important to know that that there are hebrew congregation there are messianics also christian messianics a lot of them are european jews that um believe they descended you know they're true israelites and they just but they just keep torah they keep the Sabbath. Some people laugh. Some people say, oh, you can bunch them all together. G-O-C-C -C and the Seven Day Adventists, all the same thing. It's whatever, you know, but they're decent people. They, they, they're they different. I look at fruit. Fruits, fruit's important. I know some Hebrew Israelites and they, they don't curse. They don't, they don't have the holy, they don't have holy writ, what they call, what we call writ. They don't have Torah open and cursed people, racist, making comments on the corner. You know, they may wear fringes, but they don't put on the full regalia. You know, a lot of us joke and we call them costumes and they don't do that. So it's important for Christian apologists to understand the difference. 
that there are differences and there are there are actual congregations that's out here. And some people would say, well, why would you listen to a Stephen Darby or somebody like that if you don't really if you don't really believe that every one of us that got off that that slave ship um, are from the tribe of Judah or Israelites and you know how you know the whole chart, the whole chart thing. There are a lot of Israelites that don't even believe in the chart, believe it or not. And and this is just something to help my apologists out. But when we start dealing with that, we have to also understand um when a lot what a, the same thing we want people to understand the differences in us. No man, you know, I'm shaking my head like that's not church. When y'all see what those people doing, that's not Christianity, but that's what they see. We got to be fair and understand that it's a difference. So there are other people that are out there. Now, of course, I'm going to get a big backlash with this. In my other videos, I used to just, I used to just shout out certain, you know, certain, certain, certain groups or just say whatever. People are like, oh, he has a Hebrew Israelite lean and it's us against them and we gang banging. One of the signs of true spirituality or developing and growing is, um, is fruits. Is fruits. They're, they're, uh, every Israelite's not what you think. Every Israelite's not banging, got the hammer, the other guy. What's that guy named? Tommy Sotomayor came to town and God's going to get it on, put hands on him and everything like that. Every every Israelite's not like that. Just like just like we have a problem with a lot of what Israelites say about us thinking we're all naming and claiming crazy Pentecostals. We all don't study the writ. We all, what gets me upset, we all don't have a, a white Jesus in the church and that's and that's that's something that really irks me and i try to explain that to people i like think a lot of people in the conscious community ride off of a white jesus i grew up in the church my mother was the youth was was on um, the the head of the youth department i traveled we were involved in susu that's when you go to different churches and you're locked in with 10 15 different congregations we've been to camp meeting i haven't seen a white jesus and i don't know how long outside of the Catholic Church, but still people that's still talking about that, thinking white Jesuses are around in, in all of these churches and it and it's just not so. So so this is a message really to the um to to the um Christian black urban apologists. We have to be careful in, in what we're doing and when we're handling people and not to bunch everybody together. I say these things over and over again, time and time again. We can't bunch everyone together. My name is Brother Bereen. If you like what you heard, subscribe. Thanks for watching.